there is something we need It's a leap of faith Oh, if you have the will and the moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there We start the walk in the picturesque village of Comrie, where we took advantage of the free parking. There are a number of car parks in Comrie, and most are suitable for motorhomes. Comrie lies five miles west of Creef, where the east-west valley of the Strathairn narrows and meets Glen Lednock and its old drove route from the north, and Glen Artney from the southwest. This was the site of an early bridge over the River Erne, and that assured the growth of a settlement here. The strategic importance of the location was first recognised by the Romans during one of their excursions into Scotland. They built a fort on the south bank of the River Erne, opposite the site of today's village. As we leave the village behind, we head for the Devil's Cauldron, which translated to English means Devil's Kettle. The Lendrick River, which serves the Devil's Cauldron, swells rapidly after heavy rain. Anyone visiting during such a season will witness a truly sublime scene. The cut through which the whole turbulent stream passes and its way to the deep, round pool below, is the sole work of nature. The rock forms a perpendicular wall on both sides, at least 100 feet long and in almost all places 20 feet and upwards in height, while the breadth between as well at the top as at the bed of the stream does not exceed 4 or 5 feet. The fall of the water is not so great as the deafening noise it makes, which resembles a distant thunder. The view, when taken all in all, is one of extraordinary character. The gloom which reigns below, heightened by the thick foliage of oak trees, which cover the brink on all sides, and whose branches are, in many places, suspended over the horrible abyss, is of a nature to test those with delicate nerves and will haunt the imagination long after the curtain is drawn by the intervening objects. Among the many wonderful tales which are told of and concerning this famous pool is the tale of the Devil's Cauldron. Often retold in Gaelic with much pomp and gravity around the fireside of a Comrade cottage, the origins of the tale are unknown, perhaps being told to keep local children of the time from venturing too far into these dangerous lands. The story goes that the glen was a favourite haunt of a different species of spirit from the fairy realm. These were named Urishi, importing a brownie, elf, will-o'-the-wisp or jack-o'-lantern thorn. To whichever class he belonged, it's now impossible to determine, and indeed, it matters little. It is, however, recorded that he was of mischievous nature, and without scruples so as to make any creature that fell its way its prey, whether human or animal, provided he could cram it into his rapturous mouth. He would then cry aloud with a voice of thunder to his kindred spirit at the fall of the other glen. Spirit of Rola, send home my cauldron, that I may dress this prey I have taken. 
when accordingly the unlucky captive's fate was soon decided in some mysterious way. One of his young or assistant sprites, once having strolled a considerable distance from home and the weather being cold, entered the first human house he came across. The only person at home at the time was an old woman who instantly recognised the mischievous sprite and in order to rid herself of danger, persuaded the unwelcome visitor to set himself close by the fire. Which when done, the crafty old dame, advancing under the pretense to stir up the glowing embers, threw the embers over the naked limbs of Urishe, so that he was so dreadfully burnt that he ran off howling and moaning so piteously that the rocks echoed the sounds of his cry. Since then, these imps have never been seen or heard of again. Comrade's other main claim to fame is that it is the earthquake capital of the UK, being subject to more and more intense earthquakes than anywhere else in these islands. This may be because it lies close to the Highland Boundary Fault, the line that carves the southwest to the northeast right across Scotland. Because of this, it is sometimes referred to as the Shaky Town. The growth of Comrie in the early 1800s owed much to its attractive location as a place for the wealthy to live and to visit. This in turn brought the railway, and in 1893 the Caledonian Railway completed a branch line from Creith. This was later continued west to link to the Callander and Oban Railway at Lockern Head. The link to the west of Comrie closed in 1951 and that from Creef in 1964.